of this poverty simulation this, this afternoon. Uh, maybe you all know this, but but the poverty level is at $22,350 a year for a family of four. And I don't know how many of us can imagine how we would really survive on that kind of income over, over the course of, of the year. But it's a daunting prospect. It requires great ingenuity, creativity. It, it requires a lot of self-denial, uh, obviously. Uh, and, it can, and, can, and it can be crushing. I think, as, as we all know, psych psychologically uh, and emotionally. As, as Senator Lou noted, we have far too many people in poverty here in California uh, as a result of the recession. In fact, 1.1 million additional Californians uh, have fallen below the poverty line since the start uh, of the recession, and that includes 300,000 children. Almost 1.4 million California school children lived below the poverty line last year. That's up 32% from 2007. And perhaps what we can do to make this even more real is to, is to bring it home to Sacramento County, where 13.9%, almost 14% of the residents of Sacramento County lived below the poverty line last year. Almost 20% of our children in Sacramento County live in poverty. One in every five children live in poverty in Sacramento County. It is a sobering statistic. But beyond the statistics, of course, are the real people, the families and the children who struggle every day to try to survive in our community. We see them around us. We try to help them whenever we can, but we know that the resources of government have been diminished over the last several years when the need has been growing. And that's what makes it so critically important that as community members, we do what we can to help those in our community who are the most vulnerable, who are the most often overlooked, who are too conveniently forgotten. And that's what makes it so important that, that you're here today to help us spread the word among our fellow Sacramentans and our fellow Californians <coughs> that there's no California child, there's no California family that deserves to be left out or left behind. We have a great state, but our greatness lies in remembering that we all sink or swim together. If any one of us sinks to the bottom, we are all diminished. Senator Liu talked about the importance of the Earned Income Tax Credit, the EITC, which I completely embrace as well. And in fact, although I don't think it's quite been introduced yet, I am introducing legislation this year to establish a state EITC to go with the federal earned income tax credit to help the most needy California families. That's the kind of change we can make in California governmentally to provide the assistance our children and families need. But so much of it will ultimately depend on what each of us does as, as an individual to also extend a hand to help those who need our help. And I praise you and thank you for being willing to be on the front line day in and day out, especially today of that effort. Thank you.